Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to do a comparison video between the Etude House Rose Balm Palette compared to the Huda Beauty Nude Palette. The reason why I decided to do a comparison of this is because I originally owned the Huda Beauty and when I saw Pony did a collaboration with this Etude House, I wanted to get this solely because obviously it looks very similar but at the same time I really like their Play Color Eye Palette Edition because I know most of the colors are really pigmented as well. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to grab this and compare. This one is actually really hard to find because it is such a popular eye palette and obviously this has been out for so long now, probably like maybe a few months, but I will put in the description box down below where I purchased this from. But what I want to do is I want to compare this in this video for you guys, but also talking about a bit, a little bit about this because I haven't done a separate video specifically talking about this, but I thought maybe I'll just put it all together. So yeah, let's get started. So with this Etude House Rose Balm Palette, this obviously comes in 15 colors and again, it's a beautiful rose gold palette, solid packaging and when you open it up, it comes with a big S mirror which is amazing and obviously you can see all the colors here which is so beautiful. When I got this, I was truly amazed with the color variety and I was just amazed with how beautiful the shimmers are and the glitters and it does have one color that looks so much like the Huda Beauty but we'll talk about that really soon but this eye palette it is so buttery, it's so shimmery I know some people do not like this because it is hard to mix the colors together and obviously it is a pink shade but for me personally, this is what I'm wearing right now I honestly really like pink undertoned um, eyeshadow for my eyes I mean obviously it is hard to pair with contact lenses but I always just pair with just a brown contact lens which I own a few if you guys know already but I honestly love playing with these colors and this palette and I've used this a lot of time already before actually doing this video and honestly after owning this I haven't really touched this Huda Beauty I swear I've only used this like twice compared to this now let's start talking about the comparison so the Huda Beauty this actually cost $65 and the Etude House one where I got it from only cost 23 USD dollars so you can see that the price is like one third this is one third of the Huda Beauty price I know in regards of the packaging, obviously the Huda Beauty is way bigger but I mean considering that this eye palette is actually quite big itself for Etude House, I mean the color ranges and the size is actually a good amount of size for me personally and this is how it looks like compared to each other so you can see that the quantity of it is actually quite similar but it's just that the Huda Beauty obviously have more shades. Now regards of the color ranges, Huda Beauty actually has 18 colors and the Etude House has 15 colors. Now with this Huda Beauty, it does consist of one concealer base which you can put on your um, eyelid before you actually put the rest of the colors on. Now let's talk about um, how many colors they have in different formulas so I'm gonna look in my book so for the Huda Beauty it has 10 matte colors 4 reflective multi reflective eyeshadow or what we call in Korean like shimmer eyeshadows and they have 2 glitter eyeshadows and 1 pressed pearl in comparison with the Etude House obviously Etude House have um, lesser than this by only 3 colors but with the Etude House one this one has 7 matte color 5 shimmer uh, glitter colors and three shimmer so again it's quite similar but not really but what i mean by similar is more of the color ranges and i mean you can just tell it's very very similar and so with this one you know a lot of these colors lean towards like the soft berry the golden taupey colors the you know dusty copper the pink undertone like the rosy pink shade just beautiful beautiful colors in this palette now i have written down and like played around with all the colors to show you guys which are very very similar on the palette but it might might not be similar you know when i do swatch it or on my eyes but but I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm actually wearing two different of this palette on my eyes so on my right side or for your you guys side will be like your left but on this side 
I'm actually wearing the Etude House one. And on the left side, I'm actually wearing the Huda Beauty. So like in real life, it's like you can't actually tell the differences and I'm pretty sure on the camera as well, you guys probably can't tell at all but I was truly amazed with how this Etude House is a dupe for this Huda Beauty guys. Like. It is definitely a dupe. I'm not saying that all of the colors are identical to each other, but I found about two, four, six, eight, ten colors. Ten of the Huda Beauty out of the 18 that is similar to the Etude House one. Ten out of 15. So I mean, I think this is great. And one thing I really like about the Etude House one is that this Etude House color actually features this dark brown. The Huda Beauty doesn't really have dark dark brown like chocolate brown. The closest is this one here, but it's not dark enough to actually put on the outer eye of the outer part of the eye area. So I actually really happy that the Etude House featured this dark brown because that means I can just do a variety of look. And what I really like is that both eye palette has a neutral shade, which you know. I'm able to use to actually blend the um, eye makeup out which I will show you guys on this look I have from this look which I'll show you guys soon but what I'll be doing is I will be doing my best to swatch the similarities on here and in regards of the Huda Beauty it is a very creamy shade however I noticed that when you don't prime it it's the texture is very similar to Etude House but less uh, more pigmented than Etude House but I mean for this Etude House palette Compared to like Korean eyeshadow, this Etude House palette is actually considered very pigmented already. Like it can build up so I would just do that and obviously this eye makeup I actually did not use any primer because I wanted to show you guys how pigmented they look on the eyes and how beautiful it is so yeah. So the first one, let's hope this works. Maybe I might lower my lighting just for this part. So this is Bia. Here, which you can't really see because it's just a neutral shade and compared to vanilla cream on the Etude House palette which is right here so yeah in real life I mean both just look like a neutral shade you can't really see much of it Crave um, is this shimmery shade here which is beautiful because it just have like this pearl rainbow shimmer inside and it's just gorgeous and I'm just gonna swatch it and honestly with the Huda Beauty the glitter and the shimmer is just beautiful beautiful okay let's swatch like one slide holy crap look at that really really nice and then compare this with crystal rose gold which is this one here. Now one thing I don't like about this A2 House palette is that it doesn't have the name on the palette itself. You have to look at the back to actually look at the name color compared to the Huda Beauty. So next I'm gonna put this here and this slide. So you can see it is still pigmented but not as pigmented as the Huda Beauty. So you can see the color is similar but obviously pigmentation wise the Huda Beauty actually win on this one but yeah. It just have this gold tone on the base for this both. Next up is Love Bite, which is this color right here. This purple, purpley shade. I'm gonna swatch here. This one's a bit patchy. Oh yeah, and that's what I want to mention about this Huda Beauty is that um it does um have a lot of like powdery essence when you actually um dip it into the brush compared to the E2 House, the E2 house one is actually not too bad now the love bite compare this with rose purple which is this purpley shade right here so I can already tell that even though the color is similar on the palette it's actually a little bit different uh, on the arm swatches because the E2 house one is much more purpley but you can see the E2 house one is actually better than the Huda Beauty for this one next up is the shade spank which is right here which is like leaning towards much more of the pinkier side and I'm just gonna swatch here compare to rose purple which is this color over here look at that 
so beautiful. So that's rose purple and that's spank. Next shade is this mauve shade here, which is a matte finish, and this is called Lace. Running out of arm space. And this watch here. So it's a nice base color, this one. And then compare this with Lilac Rose. Which is the first shade in this palette here. These two colors are actually very similar in real life, but obviously the Lilac Rose is much more lighter than this. So not as pigmented, but you can see the colors. The next color will be Daydream, which is another beautiful rose gold shimmer shade. Bam! Look at that! My god, that is beautiful. And compare this with the shade Icing Rose. And I just dropped my book. But it's this shade right here, Icing Rose. The swatching wonder. Look at that. It still gives such a nice payoff. But this is much more pinkier than the E2 House. Next up is Tickle, which is this nice antique red color. Or like pink color. And this one is a matte finish, so I'm just going to apply here. And then I'm gonna compare this with um, Antique Rose. So sorry, before it was Tickle. And I'm gonna compare this with Antique Rose. Which is this colour right here. And I can tell straight away it's actually not similar when swatching. The Tickle... Um, Tickle is much more redder compared to Antique Rose. Antique Rose is leaning towards more of the purple undertone. Next shade which I really like is this shade here called Raw, which is a nice cocoa brown colour. And so I'm gonna put this here. Look at that. And I like that Etude House has the identical colour as well, which is this colour right here called Golden brown. Like every single makeup I've used, I've always leaned towards the shade. I will somehow feature it into my eyeshadow look. Teddy. So Teddy is a nice neutral brown shade over here. So smooth. And compare this with Rose Beige, which is this shade over here. Which is a little bit lighter than Teddy, but it gives a nice neutral shade. And this is my blending shade when I want to blend my eyeshadow out. So you can see both are pretty pigmented. And the last shade, which is the messiest eyeshadow I've ever seen. Like, it's so messy, I don't understand why it's in both of these palettes. But basically, it's this color right here called Excite. Now with this particular eyeshadow you can't really use it as itself because it's just full-on glitter like I would just use it on top of another eyeshadow but this is how it looks like like the glitter just gets it everywhere and actually cleaning this up it is so hard guys like makeup wipe, cleansing balm, cleansing oil, anything you name it the glitter still stays on and unfortunately, the Etude House one also have this, but I guess that's what makes it, you know, very similar or like a duplicate because both have this kind of glitter. And I'm surprised Etude House have a similar color like this, and this is called Spangle Red. Honestly, like, it is so messy, can you see? Just very, very messy, but yeah. So you can tell I just, I'm not a huge fan of this, but obviously Etude House one is less glitter but it gives a similar payoff as well those are the colors that i found was very similar so what i'll be doing now is i'll be showing you guys my eye look here and featuring both of this eyeshadow palette so let's get started all right guys so first i'm going to apply a base color and i'm just use antique rose which is a beautiful pink mauve shade and i'm just applying this with the same brushes for both eyeshadow but don't worry i did clean them thoroughly before actually doing this the reason why i decided to use same brushes for both eye um, side is just so that you know you can see how 
good the payoff is, the pigmentation, everything is equal. But yeah, I did clean it properly, but all these colors are very identical to each other when actually applying. So this side, I'm using Tickle, which is from the Huda Beauty side. Now next, I'm just going to blend everything out. So I'm using a brown base shadow from Etude House called Rose Beige. And on the left side, I'm using the Huda Beauty Teddy, which is slightly darker, but surprisingly applying on the eyes. The Etude House payoff is actually way more pigmented than Teddy. However, both actually blend out nicely anyway. The reason why I do this is so that it just blends out nicely on the eyes and just looks every everything looks blendable. Next, I'm just adding a bit of a pop of a color, which is a brighter pink purpley shade so from the etude house is the rose purple shade and slowly applying this and dragging it out to make my eyes look wider and then applying the remaining on the lower lash line i'm going to do the same thing for the huda beauty as well as you can see huda beauty leans a little bit towards the pinkier side but once actually applying it properly it actually looks exactly the same as the etude house but for this one obviously it's way more pigmented don't worry about it about it getting messy because i'm gonna blend out again properly so it doesn't really matter next i just want to darken a bit more because i just felt it was just a bit pink purple for me so i just apply a little bit of the garden brow for into house with a small brush just to darken up the eye look and just apply it on my crease just to deepen up my crease line and doing the same for raw from huda beauty which is a beautiful brown shade as well which almost honestly is like identical i don't know i feel like applying this on the creases help to deepen eye, my eye look next is the shimmer shade which i love so much and this is from the eat house icing rose i like using my finger because it just melts the shimmer more and just make it more opaque and pigmented doing the same for the huda beauty and the huda beauty shimmer it's so the payoff is so beautiful like it's way more pigmented than the etude, than the etude house but honestly applying both it just looks exactly the same so voila this is the eye look and honestly you guys just can't tell the difference because i just cannot either so yeah this is my final eye look I hope you guys enjoyed this eye makeup look and I hope it sort of tell you guys what you should be leaning for. I mean, it is a no-brainer if you're interested in the Huda Beauty but just don't have the money or, you know, the decency to actually buy such an expensive palette. I would definitely go for this Etude House or, or if you're even interested in the Etude House one, definitely get it because I believe this is one of the best palettes they've, you know, actually done and honestly love this so much guys. Like, I hope you guys found this comparison helpful and also the makeup look and the swatches and stuff like that helpful. And if not, just put it down in the comment box below if you have any more other questions and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!